Hello, it's Satharl here, and today I thought we would come back with another AD 2057 game where we have just came back from the Siege of Dungannon in our war against the Gaelic Kingdoms, or the Irish. We're just currently following around Longshank, seeing what it is that he is doing, as he has asked us to go with him, apparently travelling back to Bristol. Let's just double check. So, yeah, Prince, um, follow Prince Edward Longshank's army. Army. So we are going to continue to follow him and see where it is where he is going. It looks like he's moving back to England. We've managed to push a little bit further. We are managing to unify an increasingly large amount of the British Isles. Who knows, England may even one day be able to become Great Britain again and claim all of Wales and all of Scotland and such, which would be a really nice feature to get to see that one actually happen. And oh, now we've got our guy has realised, the AI tracking realised that we hadn't actually been able to follow him in that direction and it's looked like it's going to be you know a pretty long one to let's actually just get a little bit close to him we are moving a fair bit faster so just want to just keep as close to him as i possibly can so there we go get a bit close okay never mind apparently we have to stay this far away from him because reasons that only this game will truly know oh inform the woman to uh, tell the woman to inform her mistress that you will come shortly so I have a new quest to go and visit the woman that I am attempting to impress. That is Lady Quenyel, and I have 30 days to finish that. Right, so let's hopefully resolve all of this English war, or at least get some time to be able to go off by myself. And actually, we're going to go. We're going to talk to um, Edward Longshanks here. Just have a quick little power with him and see what it is he's doing. See if he does like us more from helping him. Good to see you again. No, he doesn't. So. I must beg my leave and we shall continue to follow him down further to the south down to Bristol and see exactly what it is that he is doing. Okay, so coming back to you with a little bit of an update here, we have decided to stop following the um, Edward Longshanks. Reason being is he was kind of just wandering around, not really looking at where it was that he was going and things like that, and to be honest, just got kind of bored waiting for him to make up his mind sort of thing. So we have, however, talked to the king and we have decided that we are going to go on some questing. So we have assembled our forces, our 89 men, and we are going to start to head down to the Holy Lands. And in the Holy Lands, we are then going to decide to try and fight for Christendom to expand the kingdoms. This is going to be our first crusade that we're going on. We're going to see how it does go when we go down there. It's at least two weeks that we shall be away and once we are back and then we'll we'll come back and we will look at what we can do from that. It should be quite an interesting thing to do. And so our forces, oh, uh, they are starting to launch and fire at some people. There are pirates we've ran into over here so we just thought we'd, you know, go talk to these pirates, well not talk to these pirates, go and kill these pirates. I should probably say would be a more accurate one. Let our English longbowmen just see if they can't, you know, soften them up a little bit as they are trying to go through the hedgerows. And so we'll get these guys, keep them fighting and everything. And then we're going to go on through and we're going to stop off at Bordeaux to speak to the uh, our woman that we are trying to impress. And so, oh, let's charge in the infantry and charge in the cavalry. And so let's charge in ourselves and let's take out this guy. There we go. So spin round and oh, try to take him out, but apparently fail quite badly. And no, you will, you will die. <laughs> you will, or, or apparently you won't. You will just actually drop your thing. Oh, and a militia archer has been killed. That's not what you want. You don't want them to be killed. You want them to, well... You want to be killing them, you don't want them to be killing our people, especially at this early stage. We want to be trying to make sure that as many of our men and English men do manage to get over to the Holy Lands to represent Christendom as much as we can, or at least, like I say, as much as we can. So we are going to take this guy and we are going to go to the Crusading States, I believe it is. I think it's safe to say that down over in Jerusalem and that they are not going to be our biggest friends in the world. So there we go, we did lose one guy, but they lost 34 guys, so definitely managed to, you know, come away quite well there. And so let's have a look, see what's going on with this one. So is this any better? 
nine and no it really is none of this is actually all that better i don't even know why i was checking i think i knew that it wasn't going to be better but i thought i might as well check you know just in case you never know it's very unlikely but it can happen and thankfully we have a lot of inventory management stuff so we can get all of those and some of our guys are ready to upgrade let's have a look who can upgrade levy footman so two more archers and senior militia archers spearmen another sergeant we're at four thousand dinars per week for the cost of our forces so to say that our force is you know a, a rather large one and a rather expensive one would be putting it mildly basically so here we are going to go to bordeaux and i'm probably pronouncing that wrong it is a french word and i'm terrible at pronouncing french and so we will go down to bordeaux and then talk to the woman probably tell her a poem i think i know a couple of poems that she still hasn't heard and things and get her to like us a little bit more maybe you never know and then we shall there we got attempt to visit a lady go with the nurse because we're sneaking because we don't actually have permission to be doing this you can see that taking the skins in this game this time apparently quite a while to log in do you like poetry actually oh i don't know any she is favorable and um, do you think we have a future together perhaps um i perhaps i can still change your father's mind so she is ready to marry me i just need to go leave and oh there is her father right there so let's talk to him we meet again do you have any tasks there's some minor errands but none that are worthy of a sworn vassal he is cooperative towards me at least so you know that's not too bad let's try and see work out the best way i think the best way is going to be by going by land to the southern france and then from the going past the southern france we'll then get on the boat to row through the mediterranean up round past the uh, down past sicily and italy and then down past greece and then like Nicosia and then we will go to what's this this is the Ilkhanate are over here they are quite big these are the Crusader States so we will go through the Crusader States and actually I think we will go to Ak or Ach and I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one exactly but I think that's what we'll do Senor but oh somebody has increased I'm not quite sure why it's increased but there you go it apparently it has so we will yes so i think we've we've planned on exactly the way we're going to go and the republic of pisa has managed to expand onto that southern island and this one it's going to be probably quite a long day one it's going to take a fair few days i think for us to get all the way but once we do get all the way actually i'm just going to stop in um Aksen province and again pronounce that wrong just to sort of sp uh, drop off this uh, these items that we've got make a little bit of money and then we shall be on our way well, it may have taken the better part of four days, but we are finally down by the Crusader State. Just going to Ak. Oh, I, I, I know that's not how you pronounce it, but I just cannot work out it for the life of me. And so here we are. We are finally have arrived in the Crusader State in the Holy Land. So let's first of all, let's go to the marketplace. Let's have a look at what stuff there is over here horses there is your usual really good horses in terms of armor there is your usual really nice armors i want to get that that is what i want what how much is it 147,000. i am not getting that any time soon maybe something like that so the thick knightly plated surcoat with mail that would be an excellent one to get and i've, I've got a rusty great helm so getting a better great helm would be better and that's a great helm but it is actually worse crowns you can even get crowns that would be quite a cool little one a cracked bishop great helm so there's, there's a lot of options that you can get with that in terms of arms uh, let's have a look what do i currently i have i currently have this it's a 44 and 25 49 that would be a really nice one a masterwork counter series counterpoint series type 13a sword and a thick heater shield and a knight shield Sorry, not Night Shield, a Kite Shield. That one has better resistance, so it would actually probably be a better one to get. And it's the same size, so yeah, that would be a better one to get as well. Not going to be doing that likely anytime soon, though. And then horses, there's definitely going to be better heavy spirited. So let's have a look at this one. Worse armor. So let's have a look at this one. Better armor. Same speed, same maneuverability, same charge, same. So that and that. 
Okay, there's no point getting a new horse. There really isn't, unless, um, I mean, if I wanted to go for the design option, I suppose. I'm not actually sure why that one is actually better. All of its stats seem to be lower. Strange. So let's head back. Actually, let's go to the marketplace. Let's have a look at the food. See, is there any options? So bread, pork, dried meat. How are we doing? We're, we're fine. I mean, we could maybe do some extra dried meat. So I'll tell you what, we'll pick up some extra dried meat and some extra fish. And that's fine there. And then we will visit the tavern. And where is the madam to try and get them to, you know, a little bit happier? Ransom brokers, Latin light infantry. Madam. Hello, madam. I'd like you to help me us all feel a little bit better. We've been cooped up in ship's nat for more than a week. And so, a job. Well, is looking for mercenaries to fight in his war. So, let's see if we can't also maybe work um yep let's so all that out let's leave that and then let's ride off and see if we can't find somebody i do believe there was a thing that posted up about they were looking at moving and there was a target but i cannot remember for the life of me where that target was and oh let's have a look crusaders apparently these have both been looted which is a shame and so let's have a look see if there aren't any other villages we could maybe go and raid instead let's go up to the north and what have we got here kingdom of aragon the gaelic kingdoms and who is that you are we are at peace with you so we don't want to be going against the Ilkhanid. so we probably don't want to be looking south we want to be looking some well we want to be looking south we don't want to be looking north so we shall figure out where exactly to go the crusaders there are lots of crusaders running around and so where can we go let's have a look um you are somebody we are an ally with well not an ally but not an enemy so there's probably no point in going after you let's have a look see if we can't try and find somebody who this is al, al arish see what's going here i mean we're not going to probably be able to besiege it because chances are yep it has a lot and we do not we could have a lot more but we don't tanta let's go for tanta and let's move south to raid tanta to raid some of the mamluk sultanate it's not probably the most glorious of crusading but it is crusading nonetheless we are in the holy lands and we are trying to look for people to fight and to weaken the other religions i'm trying to be as politically correct with while i'm doing this at the same time admittedly it is quite a difficult one to do and still you know be well sticking to the actual uh, sort of things that work for this game so let's skip ahead a little bit though because raiding is not the funnest one to watch so it would seem that raiding that place was definitely a very very good idea we've managed to get a lot we managed to steal 21 cattle as you can see there and we have plundered it for all the resources just absolutely everything which is absolutely brilliant so we are going to go up to Ak and we are going to sell all of this and the goods merchants and such are probably going to regret it in a sense so let's get rid of that and that the raw silk and everything let's we're gonna have to probably have a bit of a carry on trying to get all of this sorted but regardless we will do it anyway and so i'm going to leave it here while i sort all of this out because it's going to be quite a while quite fidgety and everything and i want to make sure that i get you know the most that i possibly can and i get everything sold correctly so thank you very much for watching i've been Atharl here at egen and as always if you do enjoy the series be sure to hit that subscribe button down below don't want to miss out on any future videos that i'm will be releasing also as well if you know you do enjoy this you have some ideas of what you'd like me to why not leave a comment as well i'm always interested and try to reply to every single one that i possibly can which is pretty much all the time so thank you very much for watching i've been a here at egen and i shall see you next time <laughs>